Hey, welcome back. And uh, in this session, we learn about SQL joins. SQL joins are a very interesting concept because this is the one which links different tables and retrieves the data together. The joins, uh, mainly three joins, which we, we should be concerned about. One is inner join or simply join. When you say join, it means inner join by default. It returns the records which have matching values in both tables, as shown over here. So in order to uh, inner join or simply a join uh, to, to, to su successfully return record, they should have a match in both tables. Left join takes all the records in the table one and retrieves the corresponding details from the table two of the records which is in table one. If there is a record in table two which is not present in table one, that will not show up. In right join is actually otherwise around. It retrieves all the data from the table two and the and the and the rec and, and the corresponding details of those records for the table one. If there is a record which is in table one, which is not in the table two, that will not show up. It makes more sense if you just go to the tables which we are which, which you are playing with right now and, and then we can learn left join and right join, uh, inner join directly from that. I'm switching to uh, SQL. All right, so we have uh, three tables now, right? So we have a product table, we have orders table, and we have uh, customer table. For simplicity's sake, I'm gonna I'm going to copy this and uh, let me write it down saying uh, SQL joins and I'll copy paste this. So this is your orders table and uh, this is your this is your products table. And the last one is your customers table. Here we go. Three tables we have. Okay. All right. So if you take a look, orders table has nine records. I also mentioned over here. You can see nine records, and uh, and the customer table has. I would rather put the customer as a second. Let me first. In fact. Uh, Let's keep these product tables away for some time. Let's work with only two table, uh, which is orders table and customers table. Orders table and customers table. Orders table has nine records and customer table has 10 records, which basically saying we have nine orders and we have 10 customers details. In fact, even in these nine orders, uh, you don't have all the customers showing up. As you can see, there are like three orders from the same customer. This BH1170 appears here, here, and here. And do you see anything else? Here, SO20335 uh, is a customer ID and also appears one more time. And also this, DV13045 and DV13. So in fact, you have only one, two, three, four and five unique customers all right and then um, the other four are actually uh, duplicates yes other four are actually duplicates okay so i want to retrieve so i want to do something like this let me just try to draw that okay so i want to do something like this i have this orders table this side and customer table this side okay so how many orders i have nine orders okay and how many customers i have 10 customers of this 10 customers actually i would say only five customers how many customers are unique one two three four and five only five customers are actually in the order table because this, those are the customers place the orders and four customers we don't have any orders from them at least not in these nine records okay so when you when you do a left join you would expect all the nine records from the orders so all the nine records from the orders and the corresponding customer details which is only these five customer details will be pulled and displayed okay let me just run it 
and it's very common to get errors. So, yes, I always land up errors and then correct it and that's a nice way of doing it. So let me first try left join and when you say left join, left join is also called as left, it's actually called as left outer join, correct, outer join. And even if you don't say outer, if you simply say left join, it just means the same. So what am I doing? And even before doing anything, you need the same structure here. So I'm going to say the same, but rather than saying customers, I'll simply say data. And I'll say data here, and data here. And then I'm, I'm, I'm going to say select everything from orders table. Okay. And uh, left join customers table customers table and it's a keyword called on so these are these are the keywords right select star from orders order is a tables name left join is a keyword I'm, I'm asking to left join with the customer so that I'll get something like this so this is a this is an orders table this is a customers table I'm asking to left join and left join customers and then I'm giving specifying from which variable I need to actually which field I need to left join well if you look at the orders table, you have customer ID and here uh, in the in the customer table, customer ID. So I need to say, I need to left join the customer ID from the orders with the customer ID from the customers. So I say it like this, on orders dot customer ID is equal to customers dot customer customer ID okay so hope I don't get into errors so I don't see any error so this is a, it's a standard syntax select start from orders which simply retrieves this this output but I want details about the customer ID as well the corresponding customer ID so what I do I'll say left join customers on is again a keyword of a SQL and I'm saying on customer ID field from orders this one and customer ID field from customers table and you donate denote it by using a dot symbol when it's a dot symbol it's a table name and it's a field name and uh, and let's me let's let's try here we go so we have nine records all the nine records from the order table just like we thought and corresponding customer details has been pulled so this customer ID BH 11710 uh, 11710 uh, Brusina Hoffman and her details has been pulled and this is again the same person and then you have uh, Darin Van Hoof and then Claire Gatte and and etc etc so you have all these customer names being pulled corresponding to this order ID what you observe is we don't have other customers. For example, we also have other customers like you have uh, Harold Pavlen and we have uh, <coughs> Sian O Donald. And these customers don't show for Sian O Donald is here because his his he has placed an order. Uh, what about uh, Justus Do Natalie? My apologies, I'm pronouncing the word uh, names wrongly because I'm reading this kind of names for the first time. So. Um, you see, these guys don't show up here because it's a left join. So left join does not consider all the records from the table which is on the on the right side. It only pulls the data of the of the, so all the records which is on the, the on the on the on the right side table. It only pulls the details of a corresponding records which is from the left side table which is orders. Hope it makes sense and uh, if not please watch again and and uh, i'm gonna do a few more let's try something on the right side the same exact case if i do it from a right join let's see how it behaves shall we let me just do that sql sql right join so what do you expect so as we know right join actually joins uh, this is left join. So right join would be something like this. You have orders, you have, oh, okay. It's, it's the same color. So we have, uh, uh, I'm not really good in drawing. 
we have orders we have nine records over here we have customers we have four records and the five customers have placed the orders and this is how it is when you say right join what happens is it basically gets all the records from the customers because it's right join and um, and the corresponding order details from the order and uh, whoever does not given any order for example someone there are four customers who did not give any orders at all and uh, these customers will get absolutely no value in your orders record so this will look like this I'll copy paste the exact same thing I will not touch anything except changing this left to right so doing that this will become like this and if you run it now you see we have 14 records because we have uh, <clears throat> so, okay so we have 14 records because we have eight records coming from order and then we have another five people who uh, it's actually five all right so I keep saying it's four how many people are there in customers customer table oh it's actually 10 my apologies so it's actually 10 so this is this is this is five as well and this is five as well all right so then it starts from zero so it's actually 10 people so you see that this five people the five five customers have no records being placed so all the values has become none and none so um, this is this is what the right join is when you say right join it gets all the details from the the right table and if there is any missing information in the left table that will be simply replaced with null or a nan nan is not a number okay this is right join so in this case this right join is wrong because this is not the kind of data we look at so in this case we usually we should go for left join the intention is to get the details of the customers who place the order so we first of all uh, get the orders and left join the customer so we get the details of the customers to the order okay all right and just moving one step forward if you want to um, do the inner join well we don't see much inner join here inner join only if both are matching then only it will actually show that's inner join let me just write down the inner join and I cannot demonstrate the different scenario within a join here because all the uh, customers who are in orders table actually have a record in the customer table as well right so order table is actually a subset in terms of the customers so if you simply say in a join or simply join join or in a join is same right you will get all the records which is matching which is in the both the place so orders table you have eight records and then the corresponding eight records which were there in the customer table is pulled in so this looks more or less same as your left join actually it's exactly the same this is because your orders table have no order which is placed by the customer who does not have an entry in the customer table if that happens so that record will not show up inner join means the record should be present in both the tables I hope you understand all right so moving forward we have double join the double join is actually running the joins on a multiple um, tables so in this case well great I got all the records from um, all the records from even if I say simply join it's it's taken as inner join but from from here I would like to also join the products because I would like to retrieve ultimately I would like to re retrieve the details of the customer and the product because my order table only has the IDs I want to add on the details so I would say um, uh, from here I'm extending it um, left join then I say uh, products because that's the it becomes a little bigger you can cut the string by simply putting a slash and then the string still continues so it doesn't it won't take it as a broken string if you don't put that for example you see that this actually changed because the string has ended over that and you don't want to I mean it will basically throw an error so put a slash and then you have 
continual string. So if you want to break the string to the next line, you just put a slash. Um, so I have said uh, join left join products. And then again, you have to say on, on orders product. So I'm saying from orders product ID is equal to its orders. That's a table name is equal to products dot product ID. And this should return the entire details. So every record in the orders got all the values in order till here it is order table. From here it is customer information coming from the customer table. From here it is product information coming from the product table. All right, that, that's how you select the multiple tables, query and, and get the details. And over this you can obviously run also the conditional statements like where and then make it compound conditions using and and or. And you can experiment all different combinations to get exactly what you want. And from there, you take the workflow in the pandas. So from there, you manipulate using pandas data frames. But getting a right table, right, right data from the SQL is, is very important because uh, you, can, you can be very efficient in the rest of the workflow rather than getting the entire data into the pandas and then struggle with it. So SQL retrieval is important. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.